Hi guys, it's Night Fear, and today I'm coming on to do my wrap-up for April. Um, I ended up reading 13 books. Um, I read some that were pretty good and some that were, yeah, okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start going through them. The first one I read um, was called The Beast Player by, I know I'm going to butcher this name, but it's Nahoko Ahashi. Um, it is translated um, by Kathy Horeno. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, but this, oh, this book was wonderful. I gave it five stars. Um, this is about a girl. At the beginning of the book, she is 10. Um, and we follow her until her, I think it was her early or mid-20s, I think. Um, but at the very beginning of the book, she loses her mother and her mother sends her off to safety. Um, I don't want to go too much into it in case you want to read it. Um, but the girl has a special gift that she can um, speak to the beasts in this world. Um, and it, she kind of, it goes on from there. She's found by this wonderfully nice old man um, who teaches her a lot of things. And it just, I don't know, it was such an awesome um, book. Uh, and I think it's actually an anime too. I need to research that. Um, and I didn't realize that this is part of a series because that's just who part of who I am. When it comes to reading, I pick out books that are the start of the series that I have no idea. Um, so, I mean, this ends out okay, but it's like, it's that you can tell it's the beginning of something too. So it's like, I really want to read the next one but my library doesn't have it script doesn't have it i can't find it anywhere so i'm gonna have to wait and see where i can find it but i definitely want to continue um i would highly recommend especially if you like um you know i, I don't know how to describe it she just i don't know it's just it's it's a wonderful book i just you really she's a character she just she grew on me she's a wonderful character um and this world is really amazing and, and the things in it, there's some political stuff going on also. Um, and she kind of has to, you know, deal with, should I tell people, you know, the things I can do? Should I not? What should I, you know, things like that. And she, she really grows to this book. So I, I definitely would recommend another book that I had no idea was a series. I thought it was a standalone, but no, it's also a series. Um, and I've had this on a couple t TBRs before, and I finally got to it. But it's called Black Wings Beating um, by Alex London. Oh, if I didn't say The Beast Player, I gave five stars. Um, and Black Wings Beating by Alex London, I also gave this one five stars. Um, this is about a brother and sister who are twins, um, that they are living in this world. And um, um, birds are very important um, in this world they there are people that are born with gifts to be able to talk kind of talk to the birds and kind of control them um, and to ask birds to do something um, he has always wanted this gift his sister has it she doesn't use it he's trying to develop his it's not really going that well but anyway he he is actually um gay he has a kind of a boyfriend i don't know it yeah. um and something happens to the boyfriend where they have to go and get this eagle and this eagle this ghost eagle has killed a bunch of people including their father and that happens that's not really too spoilery because it happens at the very beginning of the book um so anyway they have to go on this trek there's also the people that believe that um the birds should be left alone they're kind of like um like uh um like religious fanatic type people um and they don't believe that that they the birds should be used they think that um uh that you know that we should just kind of do our own thing and i don't know it's just it's a lot of stuff going on in this book but it was really great um can't wait to um, continue with the series. I can continue the, uh, the second and third one are actually on script. Um, so I will be able to continue. I just haven't done it yet, but yeah, definitely five star. I definitely, um, if you like this kind of book, like this kind of fantasy, I definitely would recommend this one. Okay. The next one is kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone of what I usually read, but 
And that's the X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Um, this is a very hallmarky kind of book. Um, it's a comfort read. It, it's it's about these two people who work at this radio station, one who has been there for a very long time, um, and the other one has just kind of been hired. Um, and the station manager is trying to figure out something to make the station work, and they end up on this, this these two people that haven't known each other, they end up on this program called the X Talk. Um, and so it's just, it kind of goes from there. Um, it really good. Uh, I gave it four stars. It just, I don't know. It, it was really good. Really nice. Really lighthearted. Um, but it is very Hallmarky. It, you know, it kind of goes the way you would expect a Hallmark movie to go. <laughs> um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Cause I really enjoy, um, Hallmark movies because they're, you know, they're simple, they're lighthearted, they're, they're comfort. Um, so this was, this is really good. I would definitely recommend this. Um, this is one that just came out a couple months ago. So it's a newer release and it was one that I had on my, on my radar and I was glad, I'm glad that I got to read it. Okay. The next one is a continuation, um, of a series that I had started quite some time ago. Um, it's called Ensnared by A.G. Howard. Um, this is a splinter novel. It starts out with, um, can you see that? Splintered, uh, and then Unhinged, which I read last month. Um, these are good. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. I can't really tell what this is about, but it, it just, it kind of goes more deeper into the world. We get more of like the backstories of what happened with her mom and her dad and, you know, just more about, um, just more about Wonderland and just, I don't know. I really enjoyed the, this world. I gave this a four star. Um, and it just, it's just the way that it's kind of, I don't know. I think in the last one I said that this was a love triangle that I didn't know who to root for. And I love the way at the end of this, how that love triangle got resolved. Um, and if you've read this book, you understand it, it was a wonderful ending. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I am reading, going to be continuing. There's a couple of novellas. Well, one I can't get a hold of. And then the other one I'm going to be reading um, in May. So, yeah. So, Ensnared. Really good. Four star. Would recommend the series. Um, <laughs> okay. So, this next book is a continu another continuation to a series and that's Crush um, the first one was um, why can I never remember this book was uh, da, 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 um, Crave was the first one called Crave why why oh yeah Crave this one this is the first one and you can't hardly see that can you but yeah the first one was called Crave um, it's about a girl who, um, whose parents are killed and she goes to live with her uncle and cousin in this boarding school. Um, and I don't really want to tell you too much because you'd kind of go into it not knowing what's going on. Um, but I just want to say there are vampires and werewolves and dragons, um, and other creatures. <laughs> uh, and these books are huge. Um, but I listened to the audiobook on this one and just, oh my gosh, this one starts out just a little bit after the last one. Um, and that one has this, this, I mean, she just, it, uh, mm, I wish I could talk about it, but I don't want to spoil it. But the ending is just like, it was like a serious cliffhanger ending. And this one starts out just a little bit after that. And then, so you're not knowing, because you're with her, this main character, and so you don't know actually what happened. She doesn't know what happened, and kind of both are learning what happens at the same time. And I just, oh, I love these books. Um, but like I said, it's almost 700 pages, but it's well worth reading. Um, yeah, five stars. I would, I would highly recommend. I do want to buy... Um, these and actually want to read them like one after another after another but it's one of those that even though it's 700 pages it just doesn't feel like that because it just goes so fast um the next one that i read was i finished was finally uh was dreams of gods and monsters by laney taylor and this is the um the daughter smoke and bone trilogy there is another book that um 
I own that I bought um, that I'm going to be reading so I can finish off everything in this this series. Um, but yeah, I gave this one four stars. I thought it was a pretty good wrap up um, of the series. It kind of went off on a little bit of an interesting kind of thing at the end. Um, but this is about a girl. I have to go back to the beginning and remember exactly what the beginning is about. Um, but it's about a girl who works for a demon um, and she learns more about herself and her life and what happened. Um, and I can't really say more than that. Oh, and it's got angels in it too. Um, and monsters, uh, kind of. Um, but yeah, because it's about like an alternate world. Um, and their political stuff and then their political stuff kind of comes into our world. And it, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, this is the first... Um, Laney Taylor books I've read. I'm not sure if I want to read, um, what is the other one? Something the Dreamer. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I don't know. For some reason, those don't seem as good. If you've read both series, let me know if that one is as good as this one, and then maybe I will read that one. But right now, that series just doesn't, I don't know. <coughs> it doesn't seem like it's my kind of book. Um, then I read The Lost Apothecary um, by Sarah Penner. This is another new one. Um, I had such hopes for this one. Um, I ended up giving this one three stars because the way it was pitched isn't quite quite what the story was. Um, you have dual timelines in this one, which sometimes I like and sometimes I don't. In this one, it was okay. Um, but it's this woman that goes to, oh shoot, where does she go? Is it France? England? I can't remember where it's, anyway, she goes, no, it's London, I think. I think it's London. She goes, um, on this trip because her and her husband are having problems and she goes on this trip that they were supposed to go together. So you're getting all of that drama. And one, and then the other one is you're finding out about this lost apothecary um, and this woman who sells poisons to women to take care of their, the men folk that are not treating them right, put it that way. And so you're getting these timelines and they do eventually kind of cross a little bit. But they don't cross in the way that I thought they were going to. And I, did, I just wasn't satisfied with how this book ended up. Because it, it was such a great premise and I was so excited. And I was just, I read it and I was so disappointed. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really, and some other people I know that I've seen were also kind of disappointed with it too. So, I'm not the only one. Um, the next one I read... Um, was A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the second book in the Blood and Ash um, trilogy. Is it a trilogy? I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, but this one continues from the, you know, right, it, it starts right where we left off. Um, and so this is a series about they're kind of vampire-ish um but she is the main character is a maiden and they are going to she's supposed to be like the like the savior kind of and she's not supposed to be she's not allowed to talk to people and she's not allowed to do this or that <clears throat> and she ends up kind of rebelling a little bit and it kind of gets her in trouble and stuff happens <laughs> And I can't go into it because I really don't want to spoil it. You just, you have to read it. If you kind of like vampire-ish stories with some other different kind of creatures in it, um, I would suggest you read this. Um, and then it's Jennifer L. Armentrout, and she just, she, the romance in this is, is just really amazing. It is a little more sexy time than I would like, but... I mean, I just, I just love the way she writes and I love the way she writes characters. So I actually have the third one and I will be reading it soon. So, which is a, a crown of gilded bones, I think it's called. Um, but I just, I like this way this world is and what they're like, how it's, 
all the legends and all the stuff that she's finding out and what she's finding out about herself and because there's a lot more going on than just like what you think is going on in the first book and this one you learn about there's a lot more to it than just what you think <clears throat> okay let's see what's the next one okay Oh, and I gave that one five stars with an exclamation point. That is a, a high star five. I mean, if I could give it like ten stars, I would. Um, so the next one I read was The Winter People by Je uh, Jennifer McMahon. Hold on one second. Um, I have to take a drink. My throat is kind of tickly. Okay, but anyway, I think it was Gabby. Is it Gabby Reads? Um, but she was talking about this, and she was talking about that it was kind of like it reminded her of Pet Cemetery, um, so I saw that my library had it, and so I got it. And so um, we are following. Is it a? Um, okay, we're in Vermont, um, and we're kind of following a bunch of people. And there's some. It's kind of letters, and then it's like a. Well, it's a book. Um, it was a, a book that was found. Um, so you're, you're getting parts of this book that's like, once again, kind of dual timeline, but like in a book form, because they're kind of like reading this book of what happened before, and then you're getting people like what's happening now. And so you have the winter people, which are kind of like people that are brought back. Um, and so you're finding out what happened, what's going on, what, you know, kind of all that. Um, I did listen to this on audio. I gave it three stars. It was good. Um, <clears throat> but it wasn't quite, I don't know, it just didn't quite hit the same way Pet Cemetery did. Um, I can see her reasoning for recommending that it, if you did like Pet Cemetery, Um, but, uh, yeah, it was really, it was really interesting. I liked the way it ended, um. And I would recommend, I mean, especially if you don't like, like horror horror, I would definitely recommend this because this is more light, <laughs> um, kind of, of that genre. So yeah, but I thought it was pretty good. I gave it three stars. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, cause you see why I only read 13 books? Cause I read another 700 page book. Um, and this is Covet. This is the third one in this series. Um by Tracy Wolf. And once again, I can't really tell you what's going on because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but it continues to follow our, our characters. Um, we do have deaths in these of some of our, our people in our group, our friend group from our characters. Um, some deaths I'm very sad. Um, there's a character in here that just can't cut a break. Actually, there's a couple. Um, Love lives don't fall in love in this book. I, I, I'm these books seriously. I mean, it's just ugh, brutal. Um, but yeah, I definitely would. This was another five star. Um, the next one comes out, I think, in September. I think this is the one that comes out in September. Um, so I'm hoping that my library will get it, whether either ebook or physical. Um, but my library just got these two together, so um cross my fingers that they'll get the next one so I can read it but yeah these are just nice big books um and I did read this whole thing I there's no I couldn't get a hold of an audio book so I did read the whole the whole thing it did take me a few days but yeah definitely worth it okay next one I finished a series <laughs> um I finished five dark no I didn't because I have to read there's some novellas so I'm technically not done but I'm done with the main books so this is five dark fates by Kendar Blake. It is the Three Dark Crown series. It's the last book, the fourth book in the Three Dark Crown series. Um, this this series, I really love this series. Um, I gave this book four stars. It just, it kind of up and down. And this book, there are some deaths in this book that I'm just like, or actually in this whole series. Um, this is another one. It's like, wow. Um, but I wasn't expecting the ending to be what the ending is or was, um, but I liked it. It was good. Um, I know a lot of people don't go on with this series. They kind of like read the first or second one and they kind of give up on it. I would definitely tell you to, if you, if you're interested to read all of them, um, it really, really is good. Um, but the, this, this premise, if you don't know, 
is this world there are triplet queens born and once a queen bears the triplet queens she's kind of done and so the triplet queens get older and i think it's if i remember right i think it's their 16th birthday 17th birthday something like that um they basically fight to the death and whoever's left is becomes the next queen until she bears the triplet queens so that's kind of that's the whole premise and things don't quite turn out <laughs> um this time and so and it's kind of about an island that's sentient sort of kind of maybe not the island but a mist i guess the mist is sentient kind of and it protects the island and there's a lot of like lore and and just mystery kind of and about what's going on with this island so yeah i definitely would recommend this series it was really i really enjoyed it it was pretty good okay so my, we're down to the last two i finally read jurassic park by michael Crichton. um actually i listened to it um i would have given this five stars except for one little problem the little girl in this book is so annoying i just wanted to slap her every time she talked um, so I ended up giving this three stars. Um, it is sort of like the movie, but not. Um, characters in this end up, some of the characters in this, uh, how can I put this without spoiling it? Some of the, the, at the end, some of the characters don't necessarily survive that survived in the movie. <laughs> um, so yeah, but and the uh it's like in the movie you almost like the tyrannosaurus rex is the main and this one it's almost like the uh velociraptors are the main um so but i mean i liked it but it's just that girl was so i mean she just whiny and i mean she's eight but still i mean you just I mean everything she just oh i'm hungry oh this oh that and i think i've heard other people s complain about her so i definitely want to read the next one and i'm hoping and praying that she's not in that one um if you've read the next one let me know if she's in that one because if she's in that one I, I don't know i might not not read that one but i kind of want to because i really like i said I, I mean except for her i really did enjoy this um and I kind of want to read more of his books. But yeah, she's... And maybe she would have been less annoying if I was have been reading it and not listening to it. I don't know. But yeah, three stars for me. And the last book, I am trying to read a nonfiction book. And one of my own books. This is... I own this book. So um, every month. So this is the own book that I read. And the nonfiction book that I read was Upstairs at the White House, My Life with the First Ladies um, by J.B. West. I also gave this one three stars. Um, this one was pretty good. It's actually about um, a head usher, um, and he goes through the Roosevelts, the Trumans, the Eisenhowers, the Kennedys, the Johnsons, and the Nixons. Um, so we kind of get, you know, his, like, impressions, but the stories seem very halted and very, it's like he kind of goes back and forth, and it's like you don't really get the full, full story of anything. You just get kind of like little snippets here and there. Um, and I just, I didn't really like that. Um, I would have rather had like more like, like A to B kind of instead of like A to C back to B to, to D. You know what I mean? It just, I just didn't like the writing style in this. Um, but I, I enjoyed learning a little bit more about the, um, how kind of it works like in the White House with the staff um, and what goes on kind of behind the scenes because I had no idea and it was really interesting to read um, I really would like to read if there's any more current uh, with the cur more current presidents similar to this I need to um, look and see if I can find something like that because I'd really like to to read more um, you know, on a book like this. So, but yeah, three stars. So anyway, those are the 13 books that I read. Um, let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know if you like the Crave series like I do. Um, and yeah, and definitely let me know if you've continued and read the next Jurassic Park book. Uh, so please remember to be kind to, um, to everyone and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.